we now face an existential crisis that may bring human civilization to an end. Our current system is a planet-killing Ponzi scheme. It's a giant casino of absolutely epic proportions. The other path is suicidal. We are going to soon get to the point where localize or die, basically. Maybe there's another option. Maybe there's another way to live, which isn't the way that I have grown up with or become accustomed to or, or just fallen into. Uh, I came because I was looking for a way to simplify my life, but I knew that the way that I was living my life wasn't right, and the things that it seemed necessary to strive for weren't the things that I really wanted to strive for. So I was interested in this project because it provided me the ability to put the theories of natural building and natural food production um, into practice. I guess I feel like this experiment is an opportunity to push myself a little bit further and challenge not only myself but the modern environmental movement to come to understand what it is to live sustainably. I hope that by the end of the year I'll have a deeper grounding in what it means to live simply and a greater confidence that this is in fact a way of approaching life that is deeply nourishing. Here we're using organic gardening practices, so we're not using any pesticides, we're not using any fungicides, we're not using any chemical fertilizers, anything like that. So permaculture is really a design system for both sustainable land use and sustainable living. This week uh, we're retrofitting our existing farm shed to be a kitchen, lounge and uh, craft space. We've been living in a tent, we were living in a tent at the start of the year. It didn't really dry out so it started to get mouldy. There was a bit of pressure on us to do something else and we decided that building a really small house with recycled materials would be the simplest and most economical way to do that. Although we had to live the first few months without a warm kitchen space, without much of a lounge room or without a whole lot of running water and we had to have a composting toilet that was sort of outside, I don't think the infrastructure challenges were all that big. They weren't as hard, I think, as the um, community challenges that we faced. And there's, you know, seven or eight of us in that same space on a daily basis. It certainly presents a lot of challenges on a personal and a, a group level. So we have to do one of two things. We either just accept that we have no community at all or we create community, intentional community. There are just so many advantages. There are no disadvantages to building community. We need a certain level of material possessions to be satisfied, but beyond that point, it's actually less about what we have and more about the way we live and the way we treat others and the way we feel ourselves to be in relationship with the wider world.